Okay, this is the procedure for how to calculate the roots of an equation using the calculator for an equation in the in the numerator for x power 4 or higher, which was not an option in the calculator itself. So this is an equation in the numerator. We'll reach it and make it uh, alpha uh, alpha equal zero, and uh, put the equation in the numerator, and let the numerator be one. We will hit chef solve x power negative two. So I'm gonna calculate the root, which is negative one times negative two. So it will lead us to alpha x plus two. Chef solve again negative one. Same manner. Shift solve Shift solve That's the last root So by the intuition we have uh, x raised to the power 4 or the highest uh, 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 factor in the numerator is x raised to the power 4 and so does in the denominator which means that we have all the roots possible for this equation so hitting shift and solve will not uh, solve anything and will not get any roots it's gonna actually tell you can't solve you can try this uh, for yourself it's gonna take a lot of time I don't uh, appreciate waiting so uh, f f for 3 or uh, x raised to the power 3 or an equation of third order you will get three roots same for the same uh, uh, for the same equations of the x raised to the power 4 you get four roots and and so on so hitting shift and solve all it's gonna do is actually going to wait a lot that's um, pretty much the procedure it's gonna take a lot of time I don't have it you can try it for yourself it's gonna tell you cannot solve anyways we're gonna try a next um, equation which is x3 square minus 2 x plus 1 For who do not know the roots of this equation, it's x minus 1 squared. Perfect square. So, hitting shift and solve is gonna give you the root, which is x minus 1. Uh, x minus 1. x. Shift solve. It's gonna take a lot of time for intuitive reasons and actually it's gonna tell you cannot solve why is that because it's not gonna give you the uh, the order of the bracket you got for example x minus 1 is the uh, the the value for the root you've got previously from shift solving but actually you will never know that if it's raised to the uh, raised to part 2 or 3 or 4 Sometimes you're gonna need uh, to know how many roots are occurring at the same value. For here, it's two times. x1 and x2 are actually the same. x equal to 1. Uh, this is the first issue in this uh, solution. Second issue, if you're solving complex uh, equations, it will never get you uh, the value or cannot solve anything if all of your roots are complex it's simply gonna tell you cannot solve it so it will never ever gonna solve any equations in this uh, way for a complex equation of all uh, and all of the roots are complex this is the second issue the third issue is it's not ever gonna solve any equation for order of power 7 or higher 
it will never simply it does not have enough memory to do this so those are all the three issues regarding this method